we'll discuss about what does our great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have to speak about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Kalam, chapter number 68, verse number 4. Allah says, Innaka la'allakum khalakum azim that indeed verily in the Prophet is the best pattern of conduct. Verily in the Prophet is the highest standard of conduct. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Azab chapter number 33 verse number 21, Allah says, La lakum, lakum, fi rasulullah husna, husna. That verily in the Prophet you will find the best example. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Shara chapter number 94 verse number 4, Allah says, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised him to high esteem. Allah says, Verily, we have raised him to the high esteem. And it says that if you love Allah, Allah is saying to the Prophet, say, if you love Allah, follow me. And Allah will love you and will show mercy on you. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran chapter number 3 verse number 132 Allah says Allah adhi Allah adhi Rasul Obey Allah and obey the messenger and he will be merciful on you Allah says in the Quran in Surah Azab chapter number 33 verse number 6 that the Prophet for the believers they love him more than, than their own selves Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse 159, says that had it not been on the part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He made you gentle, or if you would have been harsh and tough on them, they would have broken apart. Here Allah is saying that He made Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam merciful, kind, and gentle. If the Prophet was harsh and if he was stern and tough, Surely the people would have been broken and no one would have been stayed close to him. So the Prophet made him merciful, kind, and gentle. Further mention in the Quran in Surah Fusila, chapter number 41, verse number 34. It says that the good is not like the evil. Repel evil with something better. And to you who is an enemy, he will become a devoted friend of yours. Let's try and understand. What is mentioned in the hadith, the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad regarding his mercifulness? It is mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number 6, hadith number 6631. It says that when the Prophet, peace be upon him, he was troubled and harassed by the opponents, many of his companions told him that why don't you pray to Allah? Why don't you tell Allah and you curse these opponents? So the hadith says that when the Sahaba told the Prophet that why don't you curse the opponents and your enemies? So Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him replied that I have not been sent as an invoker of curses, but I have been sent as a mercy to humankind. From this hadith we come to know that the Prophet was not a mercy only to the believers, but even to the non-believers, even to the enemies, even to the opponents, he did not curse them, but he said he was sent as a mercy to the whole of humankind. <clears throat> it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number 6, hadith number 6030, that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that if you show not mercy, then the Lord will not show mercy on you. It is mentioned in a Sahih Hadith of Tirmidhi, or in number 4, Hadith number 1924, where the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that if you show mercy on the people, then he will show mercy on you. If you show mercy on the people of the world, then person who is in the heaven, he will be merciful towards you. So the Prophet always advocated and taught that the Muslims should be merciful to all the human beings. Many people have misconception 
that Islam is a new religion which came into existence 14 years back and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the founder of this religion. In fact, Islam is there since time immemorial and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is not the founder of the religion but he is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.